Sorry for taking such a long time before I can update you with my progress in building this motor drive. I've been waiting to build a boat to mount this motor drive, and I have completed that boat. In between, I'm working on other projects, such as converting this pontoon boat into a sailboat. I'm also experimenting building a $25 pedal drive using the same pontoon boat. I will use the same platform to mount my motor drive. Today I'm going to show you how I finally finished building up the assembly. In the next two days, I will be water testing the drive. But even though in the initial test it looks pretty cool, and I expect the result will be great also. The reason I picked this drive is because it draws about 20 to max maybe 40 amp of current. Even though I can pick a higher power motor drive, but then the battery I plan to have will not be able to support a high current draw unless I buy a bigger battery. I have to drill holes on the drive so that I can mount this bracket. Because of the clearance to the rotating blades, I can install only two of the three screws. I plan to reuse the aluminum pipe for other projects, therefore I didn't want to drill holes on it. Instead, I used hose clamp to mount the bracket onto the pipe. I reused the part of the drive assembly for my other project, which is a pedal drive. The assembly is very simple. I just need to slide in the aluminum pipe and lock it in place. This is how the components are wired up. I placed the, the PWM and also the speed controller inside this box. I add a meter to monitor the voltage and also the current draw. Wow, it's very powerful, it's only 4 amp. See? It draws 20 amp, 20, 30 amp. It draws 30 amp, so we can draw quite a bit of current. It's over 300 watt. I think this will work. It is getting warm, but not to a point burning my hand. That means it would be still under 50 degree Celsius. But then again, I haven't been running it for a long time. So in a real test, I, I can tell how good or how bad it is. The installation is easy. All I need to do is just plug the wood block onto two positioning screws. And I should be able to control the direction of the movement of the boat by just rotating the shaft. The weather has been very nice and I should be able to test the boat tomorrow. I will post the result as soon as I can. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up or give me some feedback. Please subscribe so that you will not miss my next upload. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.